Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pack session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. I want to focus on restoring kingdom atmosphere, restoring kingdom atmosphere, part one. The word restoring means to refresh, to renew, to make like new to return to an original state, to put back into existence and to bring back the former to its original world. That's amazing. We focus on Genesis, the book of Genesis. Moses write five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, called the Big Five. Genesis 1 26 KJV and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness let them have dominion over fish frogs cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Do you not know that the first thing God gave to man was his likeness? Let us make man in our likeness. The word likeness do not mean to look like. Wow. It means to have the same nature of God. In other words, the mighty God of Israel give you his same nature. The word nature means natural because God is natural love. He is the only wise ruler. The only one wise ruler. Wow. He is called L O him. He is King of Glory. He is Almighty, all powerful, omnipotent, supreme, having complete power. The Hebrew word means El Shaddai, control over everything in the whole universe. Y W H. W, Lord Almighty, power, Holy Ghost power, wow, it's amazing. He is in charge and he gave us the same nature of his rulership. Wow. Genesis 2, 7, write this down please, NIV. Then the Lord, now when you use the word Lord, it is God. God formed man from the dust. The word does mean humus. That's where you get human. Dark earth. And breathe into his nostril the breath of life. And man become a living being. Wow. In other words, God himself create man. Breathe into his nostril the breath of life. Wow man become a living being that's amazing god himself create man man become a living being and god breathed into his nostril the breath of life and man become a living being means living soul complete whole the word means make three unique distinguished person, body, house of his spirit, soul, 
which is his mind, his will, his emotion. Wow. The two, when God breathed into man, the bread of life, God used himself as the material. Man become a complete whole trinity. Wow, that is a powerful word. Genesis 2, 8, 9. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east of Eden. There he put the man in that garden called Eden. He put man in Eden. The word Eden means open door to heaven. The word Eden means delightful place. The word Eden means spot, moment. Wow. Archaeologists try to find the garden, but it is a spot. It's a moment when God came down and placed his presence in Eden. Means the presence of God, the atmosphere. God atmosphere. God placed man in his own atmosphere. Its atmosphere is called Eden. Then God said, all kinds of tree God created out from the ground. The tree pleasant to the eyes are good for food. In the middle of the garden, there was a tree of life, which is the knowledge of good and evil. Wow. In other words, God himself planted the garden. God never allowed the man to discover the garden. God never allowed the man to find the garden. He put him there in his spot, in his presence. Wow! The Hebrew word for garden means established. Now, God's original plan for every human is to extend, to establish his heavenly kingdom from the unseen to the Holy Spirit who is unseen in the hearts of every believer, every kingdom citizen living in the sin. Wow. That is his original purpose and his intent. God made man to rule and dominion, dominate the earth. Wow. He was not made for worship and singing. God am the angels for that. He was made to rule as God ruled the earth. So man must return. Man must return, be restored back to his original state where God created him. The atmosphere of God is the presence of God, the King of glory present. Wow, that is amazing. That is the atmosphere of God. It's the king of glory present. Wow. It's good to be in the presence of God. Moses had this experience. Moses tell the Lord, show me your glory that I might know you. Teach me your ways that I may know you. Show me your presence. It is good to dwell in the power, in the presence of the Almighty God. Moses said, if you don't go with me, I will not go. Moses said to the Lord, who will I take? God said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Wow. It is good to carry the presence of God wherever you go for us. Wow, that is amazing. The Pharisee and the scribes did not understand the message. They asked Jesus the question, when will the kingdom come? 
Jesus said the kingdom is not be here, there, or here, but the kingdom is within you. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Wow. In the Holy Ghost, the kingdom is power. Holy Ghost power. Wow. This is the only message Jesus preached. The kingdom of God. This Kingdom Seminar has been brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center to all the ambassadors in the embassy centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.